I, I think I, I think I like doing bottle openers. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Evil Twin X, and I am once again back in my tiny, soundproof blacksmith shop. Most of my free time is at night, banging on metal. Neighbors, you get the picture. Right now it's pretty early for me. It's only 9:30. That's like really early for me. So what do we got going on tonight? Well, I have a couple of updates. One, the rebar bottle opener is complete. Did it turn out well? I don't know. Stick around for that. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Did a little blacksmithing with my dad. He was in town for the holidays. This is for a watering can to control your fire. I've been using a rag. It's been, water's been spilling everywhere. Look, my dad doesn't know how to blacksmith and he put this thing together. I poked some holes in the bottom of this and I had to do just a little bit of shaping and this works out great. Love working with my dad, by the way. It's hanging on the hook that I made. Last time I visited my blacksmith friend, I was working on a bottle opener and I didn't really finish it. I did work on it a little bit more when my dad was around and I was trying to stretch the metal and I was using the straight peen and I thought the texture was really cool so I kept it and and I actually like the way this turned out so it's kind of cool I really dig this I really like the roughness it does feel very handmade which is which is one of the things that I love about blacksmithing <laughs> Well, if you catch my last video, I tried to make a bottle opener, not once, but twice. Failed two times. But I did take the piece that broke off and I made a hook. I thought it kind of was cute. So I'm going to install this in my little shop and use my hook. It's getting a little chilly in my uh, blacksmith shop. Not that long ago. Uh, I participated in a beginner blacksmith challenge. It was a letter opener. Two other blacksmiths joined me. It was Abominable Blacksmith and Warped Legacy. Go check them out. I'll check out all three of our videos. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you to Warp. He actually went above and beyond. He actually made extra letter openers uh, and sent them out to both me and Abominable. And he did a great job. He really did. I really like the uh, the handle and he made a, a stand for it and you hook it on and he has his touch mark. It really shows some skill. I mean this totally totally blows away my uh, what I call the medieval butter knife uh, letter opener that I did. Thanks Warp. This is really cool. I had visit uh, my blacksmith friend and we were working on a project and I wanted to make another bottle opener for a gift uh, I wound up burning the metal on this one. However, I spent a little extra time with it and I was able to rescue it I thought it came out pretty well. Yeah, I did a little fishtail Scroll it's a little cockeyed, but everything that I do is cockeyed One of my first blacksmithing videos I made a I made a coal rake. Not only was it very long, it looked like a uh, medieval golf putter. I got that medieval look thing down pretty well. This was the old handle that I had put on it, which I thought was cool. It's a piece of angle iron that I just twisted up. And it was way too long, so I cut off this amount. I did a little twist at the end and a little curly curl. This part here was long and flat. That's the putter part. And what I did is I kind of chopped it off and made a little bit more of a scoop because I have that brake drum and this gets in there a lot easier and able to scoop up the, the coal. This shorter length is definitely a lot easier to, to use. So how did the rebar bottle opener work out? I did work on it and I am pretty stoked the way it came out. Um, the big bummer is, is that I lost most of the video uh, of me forging it. I do have just a tiny, tiny amount of video. I will show that. So I was successful using rebar. Uh, kind of hard to work with, especially if you're a beginner. I tried once, tried twice, third time's a charm. You know, as long as you're having fun, you're gonna fail, right? We're all new at this. Not only did I get finally get a bottle opener out of a piece of rebar, which looks really cool, I got my hook. I made a hook. 
I turn a failure into success. Unlike this hat. What's up with this hat? I found this picture here. That was my inspiration. It's not coming out exactly like that, which is okay, putting my own flavor in there. And let me show you what I have so far. So, a little bit different. I'm liking my little curly Q thing, it's still organic. I'm gonna uh, shape this up a little bit more, try to make the, uh, this part here. While I'm done forging, I just uh, closed up the, the forge, got all the coals cooled down. Uh, it's just really cold in my, even, even in the tiny insulated blacksmith shop, uh, you can tell, you can still see my breath, even though I had a coal fire going. But I will show you the end result. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Still hot. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, gotta actually see if this hook part works. But I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel and put a little clear coat on it. And uh, all right, well, it's another project out of metal. Loving the hobby here. Uh, so you know what I say. Um, if I can do it, you can do it, right? Um, I'm a beginner, beginner blacksmith, beginner metal worker, everything. So you just got to try. Stop playing around with plastic and do something in metal.